Well, hello everybody, welcome back to episode 184. Man, let's play the game. No one has star control. I believe we have enough when we head to a station next to actually do the um, the Rainbow World thing. But we'll see. I don't even know where I Can I get between without hitting the bloody thingies? Right between. Or is it that one? Oh. The one over here. There we go. Welcome back to the final days of Capson. Oh my god. <laughs> so about the deals measured. Jeff said we need to start transporting Marlins off Capture. We've already started the process. But even if we had decades, it wouldn't be enough time. Yeah, we know this. There's only so many Mowlings you can fit on a ship before you start killing more than you save. <laughs> We've learned. Hey, which Mowlings uh -huh. do you think we should prioritize when choosing who to transport? <sighs> Seriously. The most intelligent and they have the most to offer of a world. But these are Marlins that are any of them intelligent. <laughs> Perhaps the strongest. Marlins need to be less fragile. Oh, is this gonna like reset them into, you know, smarter ones and stronger species and stuff? Everyone is equally deserving, the only fair way is a lottery. Sorry for... Yeah, they are really equal. Hmm, that's the most intelligent. That's not really fair because then that's kind of like, oh, we're smarter than you, so you got to stay here, but rubbish. Prioritize the strongest. But again, that's not really fair again because that's like, <laughs> you know, picking on all the little ones. So that means basically the kids will be left. Yeah, I do a lot, alright. Ah, oh, that makes so much sense. You'd be good at picking who lives and dies. Huh. Consider it. Wow. Jeff, so that Morrowind that remains on Capstone would need to be sterilized. We came to the same conclusion. You did? That was a fun day. What? It wouldn't be fair to bring children into a world where the sun would explode. Okay. But on the other easy. hand, an entire generation would come and go, never knowing what it was like to be a parent, to love a child. Also, it might hurt a bit. Probably. What do you think we should do? Ah, oh, come on. I have children. All lives end, but a life without children is worse than death. I don't know. Stylize yourself. You can't bring children into a doomed world. Uh, I don't know, because what's the thing you want your children to die after you? So really, if you say you have children, I guess you would die together, but then at the same time you know that oh, it's gonna blow up tomorrow. I'm hypothetically family. I'm 60 years old, I'm 50 years old, whatever. My child, or 40 year old, my child is only five, my child's only ten. You know they're gonna have a stupid short life. It's not really fair on the kid, is it? <sighs> okay, I don't like saying this, but okay. Either option is horrible. Yeah, definitely. What about them? Jeff told us about the Envy Machine. We could use the measured uh, use, so the measured would take pity on you. Try to get them to stop. Oh, being pitied could be exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. So like you. Jeff to have all the answers. Wow. I guess that was it. Oh, that's smart. We never have thought of that. Mm hmm. So we got total measure now, I guess. Jeff, be with you. Jeff, yourself. So we got total measured. Uh, I guess them specifically. Or is it this one? Uh, come here. Hello, what do you hope? Uh, Gift yeah, acceptance protocol engaged and completed. Engage in level v v 5. Uh, policy, politeness, throttle, now. Oh god, I clicked too fast. Thank you, you shouldn't have. Gift received, activating gift now. What's happening? Sounds of blubbering and occasionally interrupted by distorted wheeze. Did someone put a cannon in there? A centrifuge? <laughs> no, we just realised how cruel it is for all the other species in the world to live. Oh god, it's too fast. To live without a firm structure of law and administration head. Oh god, they're not gonna go round now. I bloody like a new empire. You must be under our rule to have a firm structure. 
How do you know uh, when to materialize oxygen? When is the proper time to euthanize a worker? Wow, you <laughs> have low productivity. Uh, how much salt to put on a wound? Ew, on a wound? I, I thought you were supposed to say chips. Uh, now we will consider what you're doing to Mullins and get. Now will you? What is the proper time? Right after he trains his repl replacement. <laughs> Have you trained him yet? Yes, just uh, one hour ago. Okay, time to kill you. Oh, <laughs> you can send him what you're doing to the Marlins on the capstan. Yes, we will stop pulling elements off from you. Yes, we'll stop pulling elements off off the star and return to our system. We will even offer to take some of the Marlins with us to help them with their decolonizing efforts. Nice. At least you could do. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, let's hold them all ones quick. Oh, fudge, I hit the sun. <laughs> I flew close to the sun. I'm coming, you guys. Welcome back to the final days of Capson. <laughs> Did you decide what to do about uh, your still isn't problem? We agreed with you. Oh, of course you did. That we could not allow children to be born. That would cost someone else their or trans... Or worse, to have a what? child born that was destined to die when our star explodes. What did you just say? So you we have sterilized the males on Capson. Over the next few years, our schools will grow empty. Our playgrounds abandoned. There will never be a child's laughter on Capson again. Okay, you're not killing the current kids, right? Because that's not what I said. We decided that we could not allow a child to be born in that world cost someone else the transportation of this world. <laughs> yeah, that new child, it takes off somebody else's point. Or worse, have a child born that was destined to die when our star explodes. Yeah, that's what it was. So we have sterilized the males. Over the next few years, our schools will grow empty, our playgrounds abandoned, there will never be a child's laughter again. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Sucks to be you, well. And we were sorry to say it. Wow. Not the measures. What about them? We got them to stop harvesting the sun and they'll help transport more. Oh, wow! Yay! Thank you! You've saved millions of mowling lives! Yay! No one's done that since Jeff! I'm almighty, didn't We Jeff. hereby declare you to be a demi Jeff! What? <laughs> a demi god and not a full blown god. <laughs> We've been worshipping Jeff a long time, <laughs> and your Jeff levels are nowhere near that yet. Wow. Keep Jeff in your best, though. Keep <laughs> your best. <laughs> Only Demi got him. Okay, happy to help. Yay! It's just a shame a whole bunch of us will be sterilized, though. Yeah. Maybe if you Jeffed just a bit better. What? Jeff be with you. There's a question. With them helping them. Are they all gonna get put off the planet? You mean I still rise up with nothing? Is that what he just, uh, his little dig was at? So I didn't think all of you could get off the planet. Even if they help you, it won't all help get you off. If, if it is, then again, I apologize. I was trying to do my best. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so. If we task, we should get back to the beacon. And away we go. Oh, actually, the beacon. Is the beacon like way over here somewhere? Yeah, we need to station it. To the station we go! What the fudge are you doing over there? <laughs> it was a lot. Ooh, Rainbow World! Let me save, let me save, let me save first. Oh, oh, cancel, save. Turn you. Six you, welcome back. Do some starfish stuff. Uh, trade first. Ah, I think that's the one. 50 units, oh, yeah, I think that's the one we need. Bye. Put me up. 
search memo. Boom! Got it. Well, that was hopefully it shows me where they are. Okay, what can we sell? Because that money's getting low. What can we sell? Did I pick? Oh, yeah, I did pick more stuff, didn't I? People 2, Ooh, 25. Do I have 25? Should I put two on you? Okay, this is like really rare stuff. I don't think I need this for anything. Do I? Technically, I don't think I need this now. But we'll keep it just in case. Happy Gate. It's around here, isn't it? So this is the closest. Do we have a. Rainbow World now? Can't, are they called Rainbow? Rainbow! Nope. What about acid doors? So, not Rainbow Worlds? Manifest. Captain's uh, Lag. I really want to head back there, but it's not what I was checking in on. Like what is I just bought? I thought it was gonna like highlight every rainbow world or something for me. Mm. There was a ten piece of possess of aliens. We have provided the top two reasons why humans should be feared. Be sure to hand out date pa data pamphlets whenever it seems appropriate. The reason why we have nukes, like a lot of nukes, like you wouldn't believe how many nukes we have. You might think you have a lot of used bottle caps, but that is nothing compared to how many nukes we have. Wow. Reason two, have you, uh, have you seen our home world lately? Look at the amount of industrial pollution and toxic waste we just dump into our, our ocean. If we will do that to our own home world, what do you suppose to do to yours? Think about it, punk! <laughs> uh, don't see anything to do to rainbows. Rainbow worlds! Afternoon! Rainbow worlds! Not included. <laughs> Solid scientific document evidence points to in fact our personalities. They vary from the calm to the temperamental, dull, taking, taking the planty lander down to the strange new worlds, also squared out it make significant difference on the landing. Some of these personalities include flat, hollow, or sun. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. See anything that says Rainbow World? I don't know what I've definitely went to. Uh, do I need to attach it to my ship? Sorry, but I had to cut away then. I was obviously looking for this menu, but I had to cut away. Uh, interrupted. I don't see anything on here. Is there anything in here? I'll go That's the one, Rainbow Planets. For immediate distribution to Science Councils of the Eight, a recent Urpax analysis of systems that host Rainbow Worlds. Gravitational analysis of other planets in the systems where Rainbow Worlds are present suggests that Rainbow Worlds only came into existence within the past one to two hundred thousand years okay. and did not replace or result in the destruction of any existing worlds when they did so. The location? This timeline provides the only hint to the likely formation of the rainbow worlds. Given the overlap with the known timeline of precursors and in particular, the eternal wars. Along with some of the observed effects of chroma when subjected to high energies, this has led Urpax researchers to suggest that the rainbow worlds could be used as a lens to view into or even physically access purple space. purple space. At the moment, this theory is considered unnecessarily speculative and dangerous and will not be pursued. 
So say the eight. Oh, okay. So basically, I spent all this time trying to find this thing. What's the gloomy locations? It's just uh, a bit of lore. I didn't know we had these though, so you know what? I next episode we might play all these and then carry on. So that being said, like, subscribe, and I'll be awesome. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you next time, everyone. Bye.